Welcome back, guys. Before I go riding tomorrow morning in my 2018 RXPX 300, uh, you've seen past videos, there's been issues with getting this thing to stay up to speed. It could be relating with cooling issues, um, with the closed loop cooling that you guys can see it's not consistent. So before ripping out the closed loop cooling to put open loop cooling, I want to try two things that Riva sells that could possibly help it. So the first thing I'm doing is they got this kit right here. So you drill out um, these two pieces on the back. They call this a cool air vent kit. This can fit, let's see, it's RXPX's 2012 and up, RXPX 300, 2016 and up, and the G GTRX 230, 2018 and up. Um, so you want to drill out so you can put these in and it's similar to like the material that I have on the uh, air intake above the filter to stop water getting in and I got something like this over my uh, air intake uh, can end filter on my Hellcat. Uh, I already got in place the two areas we're going to be drilling so you're going to be drilling vents here. I already removed this back little piece here. Um, I'm going to pull up the coolant reservoir and instead of ripping this whole entire thing out um, Which is probably the thing he probably should do I it's a lot of work and I don't really feel in the mood to be doing all that where I don't think I have to uh, So I got an Amazon box and what I'm gonna do is stick the Amazon box Underneath where I'm drilling and what I'm guessing what it's probably gonna do is catch all the the shavings of from falling in and if this box is too small I got another low profile box for sure I'll have something catch it so I think I got it pretty tucked underneath cross my fingers that this actually works I think it'll work because it's gonna it looks like it got the whole thing covered and I'll just pull this out and say the travel if there's any small stuff I got shot back uh, so they got these little pilot hole reference points Here's the drill bit. So this is easy something could do themselves. Just take your time. You just want to line up the hole like this, connect to the drill, make sure you're flat, drill down. And we'll get one in and then try doing uh, the second one, see how it all turns up. I just want to show, I don't leave the paper on there when I drill. So I got the center hole of where I'm going. Also too, is you don't want to push down when you're doing this, let it, the drill do the work uh, cause you don't want to damage this piece at all. All right, didn't get that messy. Just a couple of pieces right in there. Shot back, a real easy kit. You just want to clean up any of the spurs you might have in this. Um, it's kind of nice too that the jet ski is a little wet after me washing it from uh, riding my Yamaha uh, earlier today. So it kind of gets it all where it's not all flying all around. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's drill the next hole and then slip these pieces in. All right, so. Here are what the holes look like. As you can see, no shavings. Shavings all got onto the box. I vacuumed up every other loose ones that I saw uh, with it. So now it's time to slip on these pieces. And hopefully this could fix the issue I'm having. All right, so this is what it looks like all installed. You had to use a flathead to kind of push around to get each end out. And then this piece you put back in in the end. Uh, you got to be a little patient with it. Look at the instructions because it's... It's easy, but it's not that easy. It's just a lot of work to get it, the lower lip part of it around the whole entire thing to push in. Um, but it looks it looks pretty factory after when it's all done. Um, it's gonna look pretty nice. And let's see if this will take air in, air out. I know there's a couple vents that come inside this way. So hopefully it'll take some heat out of the engine too. Uh, and bring some cooler air in so we could take away a lot of the heat that's especially back in here out of this and see how this works. So we'll do this. I'm going to ride it tomorrow. We'll see how it runs with this. And then the next thing, um, I'm pulling the intake manifold out and there's this other mod I'll be installing with that. So stay tuned to a future video when I do that. All right, so it's the next day. I'm here at the boat ramp ready to try out to see how this uh, cool air vent kit that I installed in my RXPX 300 CDU is gonna run. Bad news, today is real hot. I'm having my, uh, have my wetsuit on, um, but there's like a big thunderstorm coming this way. 
So I don't know how long I'm gonna have to ride, but because I want to test this out, because there's another part I'm gonna install. So I really want to see how this all works out. So what I'm probably gonna do is nobody's here at the boat ramp. I'm gonna leave the trailer in the water, like how I take take out, um, so that I can just like go out real quick, come right back in, so in case it gets crazy with the storm, I don't have to be fidgeting, moving stuff around, or tying back up on the dock. I normally wouldn't do that, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be out there with the weather like this. And it's basically just seeing how this thing improves um, with running it. So it doesn't need to be just continuously ran on the water. Also too, stay to the end of the video. I'll talk all about November and December giveaway on, the, on my channel. So stay to the end of the video. I'll talk all about that. Uh, also too, if you haven't checked out IamBayWolf.com with my merch. Uh, this is one of the t-shirts with my uh, wolf logo. Uh, check that out. Also too. If you put all caps Baywolf, you get 10% off your order. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, I am underscore Baywolf. It's time to get out there in the water because I don't know how long I got. This storm came out, it was like all sunny and I'm like half halfway here and I'm like, no. <laughs> so I want to get out and ride. Let's get it going. All right, so here I'm in. I'm going to leave the Jeep like this so I can easily ride, get back like I said. But this is the first of like coming like quickly going out and coming back in. I would not recommend doing this. Uh, the tide can make a difference. Also, do if it's a populated, uh, popular boat ramp where a lot of people are, don't do stuff like this. I'm just doing it because nobody's here and nobody's gonna come out. That's why I'm doing this. I do not recommend doing what I'm doing, but it's fast and I've never done it before in a video, so it's the first. So it kind of shows people too what you gotta do to get them off. I didn't go I didn't go as far in as I normally do I actually go a little bit farther I'm gonna lift um because I you gotta always when you take the jet ski out you're gonna be a little farther out than when you're going in you have to go a lot uh, deeper in the water so uh, it kind of gets you but it can kind of show of like how close the exhaust already is with it and you'll see it doesn't go right off get a little push <clears throat> There we go. All right there. Jump over. It's nice having two skis because then you just jump on one. Uh, so yes, I tell you, you have to go pretty far in here because the tide being so low. All right, now the jump. Nice thing with the jet tribe. Life vest comes in right like that. Start her up. Back her up. Put her in sport. Back her up. pretty excited to see what improvements this would be doing with it I uh, definitely would doing this uh, vent air vent kit you think about when you go in the ocean and stuff there's you know, if you get a lot of splash in the back you can put it, probably can get some water in there I think I had bread on there they don't recommend if you're going to the ocean I don't take this in the ocean anymore unless somebody's with me um, and I have the bilge pump but I will show you guys how to do a video because I definitely want to figure out how to get it in here uh, if I do it when I go the open loop cooling route with this is probably when I get to do it where I have more room of stuff ripped out uh, to go with, with doing that but I, I do plan on putting one in just for added security but also too if you're thinking to do one of those because they'll help you against the carbon seal you're gonna be out of luck because the carbon seal goes on to start sinking no bilge pump is gonna save you with that it's gonna be like you're just going you're going under I'll talk about all that in a future video if people are interested in learning about that carbon seal issues. We're almost out of the no wake zone and um, see how this thing runs. I'm very curious. I do have a full tank of gas in it, so I mean, who knows if we'll hit the top speed with it. Um, but it's nice to be out here and uh, it's amazing. Like, also, too, uh, I checked. I have a lightning app. There's no lightning, so I know there's a uh, storm coming, but there's no lightning. So, otherwise, I would not recommend a big storm coming and go, hey, it's time to go jet ski. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm staying. I'm not a skier.
scaredy cat. No, but you could be a dead cat. Keep six. Quick, swim to shore. And even the hint of a thunderstorm get right out of the water. Thanks, your advice is electrifying. If this happens again, you'll know what to do. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, I look, there is no lightning for 400 some miles away. So I'm in the clear, I'm safe. I know what I'm doing. And uh, we're on the way. Flight rip. So what we'll have to do is we'll leave it in the temperature mode um, and we'll see kind of where this temperature changes around to.
really t temperature change. Now it's raining. Woo! Now it's gonna feel like needles on my face. Oh, this is gonna make it interesting. Oh, let's see. Let's change display mode. All right. Let's play up the trim again. Pick it up. Oh, the pumpkin. That's nothing I could be fixing. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even really know where to put that. I don't want to be carrying around a pumpkin. I think when I wasn't paying attention, so I think I had to trim all the way turned down, which I don't recall doing that. Um, so maybe that the thing, it does feel a little bit faster by doing it, letting cooler air in. Let's try going this way.
happened yesterday. If you haven't seen the video, this one's actually closer. Who knows if the GoPro will see it. But see, it has the, well, the props are forward in like plane mode. Uh, check that out. I don't know if zooming in what you guys are going to see, but it's kind of crazy to see them one of these planes again. Amazing piece of technology. How crazy. I mean, I tell you, every time coming out here, who knows who's flying right in the water, what you're going to see. It's, it's kind of crazy. video with the CDU will be the new other Reva mod uh, modifying the intake manifold and let's see you know where that goes and my biggest goal is it should be coming out doing a certain speed consistently doing this doing this other mod might help it I really all into changing the open loop cooling but I also want to like you know my thing is the same like modifying the car the same to my viewers with a jet ski you know you don't have to buy all the parts at once try little by little but make sure you have a you know a foundation of where you're building up to what you're doing uh, modify your jet ski uh, you know kind of you see before I went the more handling route first with my Yamaha before doing any real speed mods so you got an idea of where you know like where everything's going if you put too much you know maybe you installed something wrong or I don't know it's better just gotta build up so that's kind of my advice but else to do it's real nice where I don't have to tie up to go get my G SRT to put put it back uh, on the trailer next thing I'm just gonna roll straight up to kind of show you guys behind the scenes of what I have to deal with because when you come there like everybody else you gotta tie up go get your rig bring it down here I'm lucky I'm just I'm just going right on it. I also did it because now the rain caught back up. Let's see what this is. Piece of wood I'm leaving it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, some. I don't know what it is. I'll grab it anyways. This piece of styrofoam. But I'll show you guys a little by, behind the scenes of what I have to do. Uh, put it back on the trailer. I'll kind of show you guys too. I'm gonna do a whole video of what you gotta do. You do the whole jet ski thing, where you want to get into it, you know. But I did primarily did this because I knew it was gonna be raining, and I want to be quick. And it's so crazy, like how the water looks like when it rains. It's like how the, these like, little island little things on it. It's pretty crazy. So you know what, I mean? what I do is I don't I don't just shoot it up all the way. So you don't want to be sucking up anything in the prop when you're this close to shore. It's a little tight fit in through here. So what I do is put this loop first. Yeah. <laughs> 
and then Son, easy as that. I'm gonna grab my bag out. And if you guys are looking for a waterproof bag or any of the kind of gear that I use, I have an Amazon store. Again, I'll let everybody know, amazon.com slash shop slash Iron Beowulf. It's a tactical uh, waterproof uh, backpack that I love for gear right. I'm gonna do a whole video all about this bag because there's all these other attachments that I don't leave on because it's harder to get it in and out of the compartment with the jet ski. But I'll show you guys in a future video. Also, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before 2020, or once I hit 10,000, I'll be giving away an Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 Pro. It works the same way as my other giveaways, how that will be entered. You have to be subscribed, like the videos, comment the video, and I'll pick somebody. So make sure you share the videos with your friends to just get up to 10,000. It's It doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm almost there. I'm at the ha halfway point. All right, so I wanted to talk about uh, November and December's giveaway. How to enter is you have to be subscribed to the channel like the videos, comment on the videos, do all three things. You get enter to win and combining uh, November and December's giveaway. Uh, so the winners get to either pick the two people that win, either get to pick to win a signed Michael Jordan uh, photo. Got this um, back. I used to live in the Midwest and I have a lot of signed bulls related stuff. This is history. So it's a signed photo of Michael Jordan signed by Michael Jordan. And then a Jet Tribe two-piece wetsuit. This is a sharpened wetsuit, size large. Um, so this is what no November and December uh, giveaway. I want to give a special thanks to, to Jet Tribe um, for g donating this for the giveaway. Check them out too at jettribe.com. Uh, Christmas is around the corner too, so if you're looking to get ready for the uh, 2020 riding season, check them out but be driven to win it's the end of the video uh remember every day is earth day peace out bay wolf nation <laughs>